हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ जोएला तुस्कानो फ्रॉम सेंट पॉल हाई स्कूल मेरा रोड आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर लर्निंग फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मिक्स एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट मिक्स एग्जाम्पल्स In previous problem set, we learned how to do addition and subtraction sums of six and seven digit numbers. In this problem set, we are going to learn mix examples. Students, do you know what is mix examples? No. So, mix examples means when we do two operations in one sum. that is in this example you can see addition and subtraction both operations are done okay so here you can uh, see 413758 is added to 2,9542. okay so both this numbers addition whatever number we'll get from that we have to subtract Five lakh sixteen thousand three hundred four. So, children, when we are adding these two numbers, we are getting answer six lakh twenty three thousand three hundred. Okay, so this is the first operation what we have done that is addition operation. Then whatever answer this answer what we got from that we are going to subtract five lakh sixteen thousand three hundred four. So you will get the answer one lakh six thousand nine hundred ninety six. Okay, student. So here you can see two operations are done: addition and subtraction, and that's why we call it as mix examples. Okay. So now let's start with problem set thirteen. It is on page number fourteen. Okay. Students, before solving the sum. we have to understand the sum right so first we'll read the sum and then we'll solve it okay all of you see sum number 1 the forest department planted 23078 trees of care 19476 of behda besides trees of several other kinds if the department planted 50000 trees all together how many trees were neither of care nor of behda students that means first we have to add number of care trees and behda trees and then whatever answer we get that we have to subtract it from total number of trees so let's do it all of you write down in your notebook number of care trees planted is equal to 23078 below that write number of behda trees planted is equal to 19476 okay now we are going to do the total of care trees and number of behda trees okay so we'll write therefore total number of care and behda trees planted is equal to 23078 plus 19476 okay So our first step is to add care trees and behda trees. Okay, so let's add and see how many total trees we are getting. We will get forty two thousand five hundred fifty four. Okay. Now we will write the statement below that total number of care and behda trees planted. Is equal to forty-two thousand five hundred fifty-four. Okay. Now, next, 
to find out number of trees planted neither of khair nor of behda we have to subtract uh, total number of khair and behda trees planted that is 42554 from total number of trees planted that is 50000 okay so we'll do that now so write down all of you number of trees planted neither of khair nor of behda is equal to 50000 minus 42554 okay now let's do this subtraction 50000 minus 42554 is equal to now we'll get the answer 7446 okay you know how to do the borrowing so that i am not going to explain you now okay so children here we are going to write the answer in words that is there are 7446 trees planted that are neither of care nor of behda okay is this clear children hope you have understood this sir okay now we have finished sum number 1 next sum is sum number 2 which i will be giving you for homework okay so let's start with sum number 3 let's read this sum the management of a certain factory had 25 lakh 40600 rupees in the labor welfare fund from this fund 12 lakh Thirty-seven thousand eight hundred sixty-five rupees were used for medical expenses. Eight lakh forty-two thousand three hundred seventeen rupees was spent on the education of the workers' children, and the remaining was put aside for a canteen. How much money was put aside for the canteen? now here children amount spent on medical expenses is rupees 12 lakh 37865 okay and amount spent on education of workers children is equal to rupees 8 lakh 42317 okay so these two statements will write first okay and now what we have to find out here total expenses spent on medical and education of workers children okay so now to do total expenses we have to add amount spent on medical expenses and amount spent on education of the workers children okay now Let's do the addition of twelve lakh thirty-seven thousand eight hundred sixty-five and eight lakh forty-two thousand three hundred seventy. Okay, so we'll get the answer twenty lakh eighty thousand one hundred eighty-two. Okay, children. That means total expenses spent on medical and education of workers children is how much? It's rupees twenty lakh eighty thousand one hundred eighty two. Okay, so now children, tell me how much was the amount spent for the labor welfare fund? Yes. Okay, it's twenty five lakh forty thousand six hundred. Okay. Now what will be our next step to find out amount put aside for canteen, right? So to find out this. we have to subtract total expenses spent on medical and education of workers children from total amount spent for the labor welfare fund okay so let's do this now see next statement will write amount put aside for the canteen that is rupees 25000 of uh, 25 lakh 40600 minus 20 lakh 80182 okay so when we'll subtract it we'll get the answer as 4 lakh 
418 okay so this is what we got we got this answer as amount put aside for canteen is rupees 4 lakh 60418 by the management okay my dear children i hope you have understood this sum and now what you have to do you have to write this sum and its full answer step wise in your maths notebook okay now let's do the homework so children note down you have to do question number 2 and question number 4 as homework question number 2 is a city has population of 374926 if this includes 11 24,069 men and 10,96,478 women. What is the number of children in the city? Now, in this sum, children, you have to add number of men and number of women, okay, to get total number of men and women in the city, okay, and then you have to subtract total number of men and women. okay from total population of a city okay so in two operation you have to do the sum that is first you have to do the addition and then subtraction okay so that you will get uh, number of children in the city okay now we will do sum number 4 for a 3 day cricket match 13608 tickets were sold on the first day and 8955 on the second day if all together 36563 tickets were sold in 3 days how many were sold on the third day so children how you are going to solve this sum yes so okay. in this sum we are going to find out number of tickets sold on the third day okay so to find out that first we have to add number of tickets sold on first day and number of tickets sold on second day okay so first we'll do the addition and then whatever answer we will get that answer that is total number of tickets sold on first and second day of cricket match okay that number we are going to subtract it total from number of tickets sold in 3 days okay so in first operation we'll do addition and in second operation we'll do subtraction okay children i hope you have understood this lesson and uh, all the sums are clear to you and please do your homework okay and complete your notebook so we'll meet in next video Till then, goodbye, children, and take care.